Hey guys, welcome to the episode of Thrifting with Tony. I'm Tony, and this is Thrifting with Tony. Today we are at the Goodwill here off the 303 in Greenway. It's actually on Greenway and Cotton. And um, I love this Goodwill. It's one of my good favorite ones. And I am serving you guys Butch Queen Realness. <laughs> Today I didn't feel like shaving. <laughs> and I'm here with all the kids. Say hi guys. Hi. hi. So let's go inside and see what we can find. And hopefully it's a good little treat today. See you guys inside. All right, let's thrift. Um, I do get this bell. Uh, at the end, I do not pick it up. I, it was, it was okay. <laughs> so I just did not end up getting it. This mask is really cute, and I'm kind of regretting I didn't get it, but it was made in China, so I was like, eh, it was a turn off. So I left it behind. This, my friends, is muy interesante. Like, I wish I had all the kids with me this time, so it was like I couldn't really look deep, but if I had the time, I should have researched that. Um, but I thought it was really cool. I don't know. It could have been worth something, but we move on. Twelve and a half dollars. Would you guys have picked that up? Uh, I decided not to. I found this cute little Snoopy bank and it had the little plug in the bottom. So I do really well with Snoopy stuff and that comes with us. I do grab these two vintage Vegas casino ashtrays down here. Super cute. And I do find two more um, on a different shelf. The lady had just put them up and I snatched those up too. That comes later. I think this is really pretty and nautical. And it's a paperweight and I do collect those. So that's for me. And here's where I find two more vintage ashtrays. Um, so people do collect them and I think they're pretty cool. So I don't know if I'm going to keep those or not. We'll see what the value of them are. So I'll give you an update on those. Okay, so I'm just going to say it because it really is super cute. <laughs> I just like uh, skulls and it's very well decorated. So we did pick that up. This was a cute piece, but I decided I'm going to stay away from glass. I was like almost going to pick these up. It was going to be, what, $9 for both of them. Probably could have got 40 to 50 for them, but I just didn't want to pay that much. I'm super cheap, y'all. You know how I am. I was like, eh, not happening. This is somebody's handmade piece. They made it out of a flower pot, um, and I thought it was super cute and well done, and it is vintage. Um, it is from 2001, so I thought that was super cute and well done, and I'm going to put that on sale. And this I knew was Mexican pottery. I can totally tell from the look of it. And that is, I don't know if I'm gonna keep that or not. Or my mom is coming and her favorite color is yellow, so I may give that to her. But either way, it is a gorgeous piece and I love it.
These two Native American pieces are super cool. Um, they were $4.50 a piece and they were handmade and signed and I thought that was really cool. So I do pick up these two pieces. I really like them. I think they're going to do super well in the store. So I really like this piece, but I didn't want to pay that much as being cheap. And whoever buys it, I hope they buy it with the bottom because that looks really good together. So I just left it like that so I can inspire somebody to buy them, hopefully. <laughs> Do you guys see it? Do you see it? Do you see it? Do you see it? Oh, I'm reaching for it. This is super cute and I love it. I know it's going to go quick. I sold one just like this and I think this one's even more beautiful and it's going to go pretty quick. And I picked up this piece. I thought it might have been Fenton, but when I picked it up, it wasn't, it didn't feel very well made at all in fact, so we had to put that back. They're always hiding in the back, but I did spot it and I thought it was super cute and the price was good so we did pick up this pretty piece too. I thought these were super fun. They're little tennis balls playing tennis and they're salt and pepper shakers, so those are super fun. I don't know where it started, but I randomly started collecting this pattern of Studio Nova and I don't know why. Um, but I have it, so <laughs> I just continue to pick up the pieces as I find them, and soon I will have the complete set. What will I do with it? I have no clue, but, um, I have it. <laughs> Boys pointed out this cookie jar, and I agree, it's pretty cool, so we do pick this one up too. So this is the last piece I picked up for the day and I thought it was super cute and super amazing and the price was super good too. Um, so with that said, I just want to thank you guys for joining me on this thrift today. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that like, subscribe, and bell notification so you can get notified anytime I throw out some new content. And as always, thank you for thrifting with Tony. Bye y'all.